Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? My name is DJ A9ZT, and we're back with WWE Champions and another five star gold character gameplay preview video. And today we got Mr. Pay Per View, Rob Van Dam, and uh, an oldie but newie. So he's been in the game an awful long time, but uh, he was not available, and he's just been made available again and got a complete new rework. So we're going to come in here and check out what he's all about now so let's see the poster he's a trainer blue gems do more percent damage up to 35 percent at 5k he's got an ecw link for an extra mp the alliance link for uh less purple gem damage taken and an attitude era link he has no gear uh the standing moonsault would be the four star move and the split legged moonsault would be the five star move so let's keep that in mind and um, we are going to use the standing moon salt here. So this is a four-star move set we're going to show first. We got double purple moves. Springboard, crossbody, six charge. Deal 58,000 damage and make 13 random gems into multiply gems of strength three. The standing moon salt, like we said, six charge. Deal 72,000 damage and make eight random gems into blue gems. And then we got the finisher, five-star frog splash. Blue 10 charge, deal 101,000 damage, choose 11 multiply gems to destroy and pin the opponent. So, in the Entourage, I went with Woods for purple MP. I got Matt Hardy for two extra uh, multiply gem strength, so those are strength 5 now. And then I got Honky Tonk Man Hall of Fame for 20% blue move damage, and Otis for 10% blue move damage, and... Blue moves that destroy gems will destroy one more gem. So the five star gets buffed up to 131k and we're going to choose 12 multiply gems to destroy. And if we look in the title, I got double fury and I got a level 15% blue move damage medal on there. So that five star going to be hitting. And uh, we also got the two words for you skill plate on there so we can make some X break gems randomly during the match. So we're going to go out here on the road against Mr. Roman Reigns. And see what Mr. Pay-Per-View is all about here. I'm excited. You know, I really didn't use this Rob Van Dam very much. Uh, I got him to 5k for that training ability. But beyond that, he never beat anybody out on my roster as far as who I should build next. So I'm going to start with the standing moonsault here. Um, I'm trying to fill that finisher up. You want to have the other purple move and the finisher filled at the same time if possible. And there it is, turn one. You love to see it. You love to see it. We got a couple Xers on there, all right? 13 random multiply gems of strength five. And the finisher deal 248k damage and choose 12 multiply gems to destroy. Ooh, I see a big play too. I see a big play too. Look at this one here. We take that purple. That's going to cascade these boys right here. And that's fine right there. I'll take I'll take the other ones. I don't even need to break this one because it's going to break itself. So let's do that thing. Cascade, cascade, boom, bada boom. Ooh, over a million, 1.2 million. Yo, RVD hitting, son. He hitting now and all three moves were ready to go again. So we could have hit him for another million next turn. That's an awesome first move set right there and a hell of a revamp from where he was already at. Now let's get out here and see what else he's got going for us. Okay, move set two. We now have the Rolling Thunder Senton, eight charge black, deal 63k damage and choose six gems to make into blue so we can fill the blue up. And now we got the sleeper hold, seven charge blue submission, place seven sub gems and do 35,000 damage for two turns. Remaining sub gems turn into multiply gems of strength three. And then we're leaving the finisher on there. So, we now got Bray for the black move MP because we want to hit that choose right away. We got Eddie Guerrero for extra blue sub turns. We got Roman on here uh, coaching for blue subs do 50% more damage and an extra turn. So, now that sub's doing 53,000 damage for six turns. So, it's going to be a little over 300k damage. 
And we got Honky Tonk Man Hall of Fame still on there to buff that finisher up for us. And I could have buffed the sub more, but it's not a high value sub. So I really wanted the extra turn from Roman more than I wanted more percent damage on the sub or the finisher. So, And choose six is going to be plenty to charge what we need. So choose moves aren't really the meta here uh, for damage. So we're going to leave the strap set up exactly the same. And we're going to go out here and uh, see what we can do with this moveset. It's going to be a little slow. If it's going to be too, too slow, I'm not going to do the whole match. Because it is going to be pretty solid, right? We're just going to... Um, we're going to see what we can do. Now, double armor for this setup would probably be the best way because you're going to try to hold them with the finish, but I don't have a good blue move damage uh, armor metal, so. Here, uh, and here's the big play. If you can recycle black with your choose blue, that's going to be ideal because there's no guaranteed recycle for the black move, so. That's uh, going to be a big play. And look at that. We can absolutely recycle black right here. It's going to cascade the pin. But our sub's ready for next turn, and he can't hit turn one. So we're not worried about that. And after we hit for our cycle here, we have our black move charged up, ready to start it again. So Now remember, the remaining sub gems are going to turn into our multiplies. So we want to choose these on black and blue gems. And in this case, I really just want to go blue because my black move is charged. So I want to make sure I hit all the blue gems first. Because we need some of these left over. This is our recycle. Now, it's not guaranteed because anything can happen during the sub. He could bust all them up, leave you with no multiplies, leave you with not enough multiplies to charge like that. So we do have 9 MP worth of blue on the board. So that's good. You should hit a point here where you... As long as the blue gems keep flowing, you should be able to just keep hitting the sub and the finisher over and over again. Now, see, they're really trying to get me to, to mess up my multiply gems here, and I don't really want to do that. There we go. We're out. All right, finisher 238 plus choosing the multiplies to destroy. If I wanted to get slick, I could have hit the black move and not uh, done anything really with it. I suppose I should have done that just to leave some more blue gems on the board because I was going to recycle it anyways with that, but I'm trying to speed it up here. We're going to see if he can kick out a 460, and he will. But it was enough to charge anyways, so it's not a big deal. When you get into trouble, if there's no blue gems on the board for the sub, you'll want to go ahead and uh, you could go ahead and use that choose move just to load some blue gems on the board, really. Yeah, see, this one's going not great here. Only two blues left there, six MP out of it. So we may have to use that choose move to charge back up, so. But so far, we have managed to uh, hold him without charging his moves, and that's the main objective, so. Now we can only get these two blues, and then we'll have to start over again. All right, so here's where we'll get a little uh, a little funny with it. So we're going to use this. Now, we need one match to charge the finisher. So we definitely want to charge the finisher. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to just place some blue gems around in some safe-ish places. So that way, now my finisher's charged, and when I hit my sub... I've got some blue gems hiding down here at the bottom that aren't in a great position for him to break on me, so. And I'm going to take a black gem, uh, two black gems out of it, because if I can get the two black gems, that will auto-fill the, uh, the black choose move again, so. And there went my two black gems, so there goes that idea. But we got enough blue multiplies out here to refill both blues again. So, a safe moveset, but not the strongest here. So, um, it's not going to be great. 
for uh, long matches of five star gold, but for earlier rarities, this could probably work really well. When they don't have five million health, you got to go through. You wouldn't have to cycle nearly as much, and we still can't hold him for a pin. That's where that double armor would have been key. Totally fine. Hit the sub again. All on blue gems. Because we just want to keep hitting the sub and the finisher. Don't let him charge. Keep charging yourself. That's the name of the game. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. We only got one there. Now now we might be in trouble. So that's what we wanted to see. I got to see if uh, this is going to get us into any trouble here. He can't hit. I'm going to go ahead and take that blue match right there first. That's actually uh, that's actually helpful because we got the sub charged again here. So let's go ahead and hit the sub because we ain't going to do enough damage on that finisher this way. Let's see if we can get a, a better... A better outcome from the sub this time. I'm not holding my breath, though. This man's blowing the board up already. Ooh, not bad, not bad, not bad. Okay. Slow but effective. Come on, this one better do it here. We got a lot of multiply left here. We're going to charge everything up. At this point, we know he's toast. It's just a matter of how many turns is it going to take to finish the deal here. So, ah, Going to have to hit it again. Sub one more time, and this should do it. Well, not the sub, but uh, as long as he leaves me some multiply gems, my finish. Oh, of course it did. Look at that. Are you kidding me? Watch, watch me not kick out here. Would How funny would that be if I couldn't kick out of this? Scared me for a second there. I could also use the choose move to hit all these multiplies into blue gems. But what are you going to do? Alright, let's go for the finish and see if uh, see if this one's going to be enough. This It might not be. He might kick out of this. And our blues aren't charged, so. Nah, he ain't kicking out of that. Okay. All right, that's move set two. Slow but effective. Slow but effective. And uh, let's see what else we got out here. We got anything else we can do? Okay, so we have the missile drop kick, six charge, deal 74,000 damage, make eight random purple. We got the split legged moonsault, six charge blue, deal 71k damage, and make eight random black. And we got the standing moonsault, six charge purple, deal 72k damage, and make eight random blue. So. Gem chucking paradise here. All three of these moves, six charge. They all chuck random gems of each other's colors. So we're just going to leave Bray to hit the black move first. Doesn't matter where you start. NWO Macho Man moves that generate any color gem will create two more. So that put us up to 10 on all of them. And then we use the Hall of Famers, Brie Bella and Eddie Guerrero to give us an extra purple and an extra black. So we got 11, 11, 10 now. And we're going to leave the title the same again, like we say. And uh, we are going to chuck gems all over the board here. So, uh, boss battle paradise here. You need to bring a shield down. Mr. Pay-Per-View's got you. Mr. Pay-Per-View's got you. So, the problem's going to be the damage output here. The problem's going to be the damage output. Now, I still got the double fury on there. So, good cascades could help. Ah, yeah. There we go. 382 turn one. But again... You know, three, four, five hundred K damage a turn. That's gonna take you ten turns to win, and I got no way to hold his moves down here. So, 
and hit the blue spam black out onto the board. And let's hit the purple move to make the random blue gems. That's going to be our strongest if we can get that to hit good. And, of course, it didn't break my X. There it went. That's what we were looking for. Two words for you is our saving grace on this move set. But as you can see, you just, uh, you just got to keep chucking gems. You just got to try to win a, a shootout, basically. I'm going to hit the purple one again because there's a lot of blue on the board. And like I say, this is our strongest. Blue gems being our strongest color here. Ah, there was a big cascade in the middle there. Should have went. So as you can see, this move set again, uh, it's going to be fun. It's going to be easy. This would be good for uh, playing tours, just trying to get it done quickly if you're multitasking or whatever. But it's not going to be that big hit that you're going to need for Showdown or Feud. All right, let's hit the black move. Let's make the purple gems. Again, mostly I'm just trying to set up the purple move. But you have an out no matter what. Like, no matter what, you can hit another move and charge another color. So, it's just, it's going to take a long time. And uh, we could get bought by this. We got the class disadvantage. I don't know. I'm losing my patience to play the rest of this match right now. So, we see how it works. We see how it works. And Roman's not really got enough strength to put me away here. So, a lot of blue on the board. I don't know how there's so much blue on the board. It's making me not even want to hit this blue move. So we're hitting like three, four hundred K a turn. Best we're gonna do. I think if we got a crazy cascade, we'd maybe put up like six hundred K. But we're not really looking to do more than that here. I suppose Santa Hogan would have been a really good choice for this move set too. I don't know why I didn't think of that when I was building it, but you know. He could definitely help this move set out for some flat gem damage. I'm just going to keep hitting this purple move uh, until... <laughs> I see all them blue gems on the board. I'm like, why would I hit the blue move first? Because I'm going to end up turning them blues into black. So then this move wouldn't hit as hard. So it's still 366 a turn. You get the idea. We're going to go out here and see if there's a fourth move set we can use. Okay, hit him with the old mishmash here. So, we got the Rolling Thunder Senton, 8 charge black there. So, we're choosing the blue gems. We put the split-legged Moonsault to make the random black gems. And then we put the sub in there with it so we could try to hold them down here. So, this will be more effective for higher levels than the triple uh, gem chucking would be. The triple gem chucking would work better at lower levels. But, I also think you had to get to... Five star to even unlock that move. So I don't know that that set's going to be a great choice. But if we're looking at this set, we still left Bray because we're going to choose blue first. We left NWO Macho, so we're going to choose eight blue, make ten random black. And then we got Roman to buff the sub. And we got Santa Hogan for the gem damage here. Still same strap. Haven't changed the strap this whole time. So we'll get a little bit of this here again. It's going to be long matches, and I'm not trying to make a 35-minute video. So... Uh, if it looks like we're in good control, we'll probably just end it out early. But this is the last move set I'm going to show. And I'm pretty excited here. I'm pretty excited. Um, he's not perfect by no means. But he's definitely got some move sets that can work now. So a character that maybe uh, was a one-trick pony before. Uh, now kind of versatile and different things you can do. Especially uh, in the era of the boss battles now. 
having somebody that can go out there and bust shields is a big play so so the submission gems not super as important as where you put them now but i do want them on blue because that's my strongest gem color so if you could manage to have a bunch of multiplies here on the board and hit that choose move you'd be in good shape And we're one turn off of hitting the choose. I'm debating on whether or not to even spam the black. I think I need to throw off for a turn. That's good. That's what we wanted to see. So now we can hit the choose eight blue with all of these multiplies on the board and see what we can come up with. There we go. Look at that. Cascades. One million. Yo. Yo, diamond in the rough move set, baby. Yo, stick around till the end. Oh, he kicked out. No. Yo, that was actually that actually did really well there. That actually did really well. And we got everything charged up again, so that's actually really cool. Just going to put them down there out of the way. Probably dumb. Probably should have put them up higher on the board. Whatever. Oh, you mother -ger. Oh, and he took another one. Are you kidding me? Whatever. We hit for the million with the set. What are you going to do? Big Cascades again! Only 600k, but we didn't have a lot of multiplies there, so we didn't expect much. Ah, he got that Cascade again at the end that saved his life. I'm gonna hit the 10 random here, because I want that black move charged, and I'm... I don't know. He can't hit a move next turn anyway, so even if it did push the pin, which it didn't, um, there's some huge cascades on the board here. I can't imagine that many of these blues are going to survive. <coughs> I'm going to put those right next to that blue. That way I have uh, a bunch of multiplies next to each other. Worst case scenario there in the bottom corner. All right, just got to get through this swipe. Okay. Put them away, DJ. Put them away. All right, we hit all the multiply gems. Bop! Got him! Yo, almost hit a million again. Almost hit a million again, but uh, there you go. RVD, Mr. Pay-Per-View. Uh, what do y'all think about the rework here? He's actually a lot better than he was before, so uh, let me know if you're going to try to get him or if you already had him and you're going to build him. So I'll leave y'all with that. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're not already. But uh, until next time, y'all, peace.